We're going to turn now to a medical rarity. A set of twins born to an Ohio couple, both perfectly healthy and beautiful. The only thing is, one looks black, one looks white. The parents love their 18-month-olds, of course, they're wonders, but they say they've also faced some grief and discrimination over the children, and they share their story with Juju, who's back over here at the desk with us this morning. Juju. Well, it's remarkable, David. We know our country is an ethnic melting pot, but American kids carry an assortment of genes from different racial backgrounds as a result. It turns out skin color is determined by multiple genes. Charles and Christy Cunningham don't really pay much attention to their baby's skin color, but unfortunately, the rest of the world is not nearly as color neutral. Eighteen-month-old Gabe Cunningham was born with blonde hair and beautiful blue eyes. He started smiling and he opened up and they were blue. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes are blue. Blue, shock blue. And what was your reaction? Um, I wasn't surprised because they run in her family. But this isn't your garden variety surprise because this blonde-haired, blue-eyed baby's father happens to be so. black. We but we all went to fifth grade science. Brown <laughs> eyes are supposed to be dominant. What's up? I have no idea. <laughs> but let's examine the rest of the family tree. Gabe's mom, Christy, is white, which may explain his coloring. But what explains this? Trinity is Gabe's twin sister. That's right, they shared the same gene pool, even the same uterus. So does that just blow you away? I mean, you basically have you know, a child who looks black and a child who looks white. The Cunningham twins, born just minutes apart, arrived in contrasting colors that wowed even the nurses. People on the street don't know what to think. What do people say to you? How close in age are they? Are you sure they're twins? How did that happen? Are we babysitting? Yes, yes. Are they related? Are you sure? Um, are you sure? Yeah, to be brutally honest. Um, They've been called mutts. That's right, mutts. How can you do this to these poor children? They'll be ostracized for their entire lives. Obviously, they're not identical twins, which happens when one egg is fertilized by one sperm, splitting in half. Fraternal twins like Gabe and Trinity come from two separate eggs, fertilized by two different sperm. But the odds of inheriting such vastly different skin color in twins is a one in a million shot. It's rare, but other biracial twins show genetics aren't just black and white. This family had light and dark twins not once, but twice. Strangers often assume Christy slept with another man. That's one of the first things that usually usually comes out of any of the comments is they have a different father. What goes through your mind when you hear accusations like, oh, well, clearly you've been stepping out? Um, it doesn't bother me because I know where I've been, I guess. Um, it, it really doesn't bother me at all just because, you know, they're his. It, you know, it's not, you know, so, you know. And it's not like Charles is, is asking any questions. Oh, no. no. The Cunninghams are an interracial couple who are no strangers to racism. We live in an age when Halle Berry, Tiger Woods, all sort of you know, the products of mixed race marriages have reached pinnacles in our society, mm -hmm. and yet there are still all these issues. Exactly, and that's that's um, something that I just, I'm amazed at, and for us to be as advanced as we're supposed to be, for there still to be, um, for this to make the news is, is, you know, a statement in itself, I think. And mom and dad hope their children grow up in a world that is truly colorblind. We've had people walk on the moon and dive in the ocean, yet a light, a light skin or a, a white kid is just like a, a marching. Like it's just something that's not like a unicorn, like it's something that's not supposed to exist. The twins look so healthy now, but they were actually born 11 weeks early and spent a lot of time in the NICU where the nurses were wowed, as we said. The couple told me that in the twins' entire lives that there's only one person who actually recognized as twins here in Central Park and said, hey, you got twins there. Oh, that's wild, right? Yeah. And we did get some tough questions along the way, and we don't want to downplay that. But we were all saying, how cool, what a blessing when you see those photographs and the baby side by side. Absolutely. We made a big deal about how this is a one in a million shot, that their skin color is so different. But they're also miracle babies in that they were really a, str a struggle to be conceived. You know, she had miscarried once. She wanted desperately to have these babies. She spent some time bedridden. You know, they're just totally loved. Beautiful, healthy, and the most important thing is they've got two parents who love the Absolutely. heck out of them. All right, Juju, thanks so much. What a great story.